hey what is up guys tire here and as you can see from the title and the thumbnail this is the second episode of the let's talk about series and in this video we'll be talking about the infinix 08 so if you're interested sit back and relax by the way if you're new to this channel welcome we are on the road to 100 subscribers and a sub from you yes you watching this video will be really cool with that being said let's get into the discussion enjoy the Infinix 08 being the successor of the Infinix 06 is here and it has a lot of features like a 90 hz refresh rate, USB Type-C and 33 watts fast charging which I think is absolutely amazing for its budget friendly price of 178,000 Naira or $295. The body is made up of plastic and the screen is made up of glass which Infinix hasn't told us the protection of the glass but based on what I know and my track record with Infinix products it won't be more than Corning Gorilla Glass 3. It comes in three colors which are Silver Diamond, Black Diamond and Green Diamond. I'll personally go for the Black Diamond just because it looks a bit more low key. It has an IPS LCD display with 16 million colors at 6.58 inches with a resolution of 1080 by 2460 pixels so video consumption will definitely max out at 1080p which i think is decent and the most interesting part of the display is that it has a 90 hz refresh rate which is the main selling point of this device take note that to enjoy the 90 hz refresh rate fully you will sacrifice battery life but you can always set it to switch between 90 hz and 60 hz depending on the tax at hand but I'll recommend you to leave it at 90 hours so as to enjoy your hard-earned money and to enjoy the smoothness of using the device. It runs Android 10 with XOS 7 slapped onto it. Now, I'm not a big fan of Infinix skin because of the bloatware and because you won't even get Android updates which I think is really really bad because if you get the device now and there's Android updates for Android 11, you won't be able to use Android 11 until you buy another smartphone which I think is really really bad because you can't be spending okay for me I can't be spending money on another smartphone every year so Infinix please at least if you even give us one year software update it's really really good stop giving us devices with no software updates at all and your bloatware please work on it it has a MediaTek Helio G90T processor which means gaming on this smartphone will be good it has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage which can be expanded using an SD card. Now the camera. It has a quad rear camera setup consisting of a 64MP main camera, an 8MP ultra wide camera, a 2MP depth camera and a 2MP depth sensor with quad flash. I don't know why I just love the camera setup, I think it's really really cool and it adds more character to the smartphone since i don't think any other smartphone manufacturer has made this type of setup so kudos to infinix this setup is really really nice it looks like a rhombus with or a square that has been rotated 30 degrees or thereabouts the camera shoots videos at 4k 30 frames per second with no stabilization but it has stabilization at 1080p Moving on to the selfie camera setup which consists of a 48 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. I am not a fan of the selfie camera setup. I don't know why. I just don't see any use in uh, ultra wide front facing camera but I can see in some cases where the ultra wide front facing camera will be useful like taking group selfies and things like that. The selfie camera shoots videos at 1080p 30 frames per second with no stabilization. Nonetheless, the camera is an okay camera. By okay, I mean the camera is good enough for the price, so you can use it, but bear in mind that you are not getting the bleeding edge camera with top end specs, but the camera is still okay. And also take note that megapixels don't to quality. A 12 megapixel camera might be better than a 32 megapixel camera. That's just how it is. It depends on the processing of the camera and things like that. Now to the interesting bits. It has a 4500 mAh battery which should last a day on fairly intensive use. And yes, it has USB Type-C once again and I hope other smartphone 
manufacturers adopt this you know yourself the infinix 08 boasts a fast charging of 33 watts which isn't a necessity for me but i can see the occasions where you will need such speed since it charges from 0 to 60 in about 30 minutes and fills up in about 70 minutes which will be a good thing if you are in a rush to go somewhere it has a side mounted fingerprint sensor which it seems to be the trend of the budget smartphone of 2020 and i like it a lot make sure you are subscribed to this channel with notification on because i'll do a comparison between this device and the techno camon 16 because they have a lot in common and by a lot i mean a lot it seems like as if techno just copied infinix assignments but we'll know more about that in the video of the comparison so stick around for that Infinix has a lot of things to improve on this device like the Bluetooth situation and not giving us Android update situation but all in all I give this device a 3.5 star rating based on the price anyways and that's basically all for this second episode if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you love it consider subscribing thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one peace I lost my best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me I saw no shadow, I looked around Searched every building and home that I found I saw no shadow, but felt a glow The warmth inside me kept me afloat